I want to talk about a lucid dreaming app that I created a while ago, about a year or so ago now, which gives you reality check reminders. So as you can see here, it says how to lucid, are you dreaming Steph? And then there's a little alien emoji there, one minute ago, 30 minutes ago. So I'm gonna log in now and explain how this lucid dreaming app works. And what Okay, so this is the lucid dreaming app. The more views this video gets, and also the more supporters I have on Patreon, the faster it will become on Android. But it's, I'm planning to release it on Android, hopefully in the next six months to a year. So, but, but that being said, there are a few updates I've got planned for this, so this is not the final product, but I just wanted to show you where I'm at now with this Lucid Dreaming app and what I hope to do with this in the future. So if you've been following my updates, then you'll know about this, but if not, then here is basically how the app works. So you'll log in here and you'll see that this is uh, my logo here. And uh, there's a link to watch my videos, and then it basically just says a little bit about me. Thanks for downloading and I uh, hope you enjoy the app. That's the main home screen. That's pretty much irrelevant for most of you. So here is the main features. So you can go here and you can add a dream journal entry. So you can put the title, let's say if your dream was something like uh, you were climbing a skyscraper, you would put the title there, climbing a skyscraper, maybe you put a little emoji there so you remember it. If it was lucid, you can check this box that says lucid and then it will be automatically logged as a lucid dream and you can search back for lucid dreams and non-lucid dreams, which I'll show you in a second. Then you can describe the dream. I was climbing a skyscraper and Superman knocked me off. Okay, so then you can, it logs the date automatically, the date when you had the dream here, but you can also change the date if you wanna backdate it, for example. You then save the dream and it automatically logs it on the month where you had it. So you can look back on your dream journal, you can search through here for keywords. So for example, skyscraper, and it would list all the dreams in which you've mentioned a skyscraper. So then you can click on the entry and read it again. Very useful. You swipe back to go backwards. You can also go into the month and then search through all dreams, all your lucid dreams, all your non-lucid dreams. And you'll notice that when I click non-lucid, the dream journal entry I just wrote disappears because it's not a lucid dream. So that functionality is very useful for, for, for looking back and seeing wh which lucid dreams you had, which times you didn't have a lucid dream and so on. Now I've explained in previous videos why it's important to keep a dream journal on your phone, simply because you're always gonna have your phone by your bed and it's something which you can search through in the future. You can look back through and just search for all of the dreams you had about a certain keyword or a dream sign, meaning it's easier to do reality checks and become lucid. All right, so not much more explanation is needed for the dream journal section side of things, but there is also a handy link here that says how to, and then that explains more about how to write a dream journal and uh, how it works. Now, one thing I wanna say straight away about this, I know you're probably thinking this is a very bright app. There's a lot of white space here, and for nighttime, that's probably gonna be too bright when you're trying to write a dream at 3 a.m. I understand that. And probably by the time you watch this video, or certainly in the, in the month or two after publishing this video, there will be a brand new night mode in which this whole thing will be dark, it will be very easy to read, and it won't be bright like this. So this is just, I just wanted to give you a few updates on the app before I publish the updates. So, this is the main feature here, the reality check reminder. So as I'm sure you're aware, it's important to do reality checks throughout the day, because they're gonna show up in your lucid dreams, or in your normal dreams, I should say, and help you become lucid. The problem is most people forget to do them. So this device here reminds you to do reality checks and you can set the interval. So it can give you a notification every hour, every two hours, or randomly. And if you click the random section, you can see it asks you how many reminders you want throughout the day. So for example, 30, let's just set it as 30. Now the updates that are coming will include uh, a time bracket. So you'll be able to say, I want 40 reminders between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m so that it doesn't interrupt you during your sleep. Because at the moment, the only way of disabling notifications is to either manually turn them off here by clicking the notifications off or by just relying on your iPhone's night mode, which automatically disables notifications. So for those of you who are wondering why isn't there an option at the moment to disable notifications at a certain time, it's because if this is only on iPhone, you already have night mode, so you can just set that up and it, it saves a bit of development on my side. Uh, but there will be that feature coming very soon. So don't worry, <laughs> it's in the works, okay? And then here, you have the option to actually edit the reminder that you get. So say if you want it to say something really specific, like, are you dreaming right now, John? So by having your name, it makes it more personal. You can even add emojis in here. 
uh, and it will actually show that in the notification. So then when you turn notifications on, randomly for the next, well, 40 times, it's gonna show you this, uh, this custom reminder here. Then as you scroll down here, it says how reality checks work and how you can best use them. It even gives you some examples of what reality checks to do. And then it links to a tutorial I wrote about how to do lucid dreaming reality checks. So far, so good, right? And uh, I should mention that at the moment, this is completely free. There's no ads on this app. It's completely free. I rely entirely on your support on Patreon and also, as I'm gonna get into in a second, the tools section, which I will explain now. So as you see here at the bottom of the app, the tools section gives you a list of useful topics. So let's take binaural beats, for example. We, I've spoken about binaural beats before, special sound waves which help you meditate and help you induce lucid dreams. Like for example, binaural beats from Enora, the unexplainable store. I have actually genuinely tried all of their binaural beats and I can recommend them completely. So as you'll notice in the tools section, it's a mixture of useful resources and tools and also just information. So for example, acronyms. It tells you exactly what all the acronyms mean so that when you're going through lucid dreaming forums or whatever, or when you're talking to your friends about lucid dreaming, you can actually use acronyms so uh, you can understand them all here. There's loads of them that I wrote for you. And then there's also things like uh, tips and warnings explaining various things about lucid dreaming. I'm not gonna show you everything in this app because I want you to download it and have a look, but just for those of you who don't have an iPhone uh, who are waiting for the Android version, I just wanna show you a bit about what's uh, here and what's gonna be coming up soon. Supplement guides, little tutorials on how to use supplements. And then I do talk about the Lucid Dreaming Bootcamp for those of you who are interested. I'm gonna also be including more about how it works and I might even include a seven day free trial of the bootcamp with the first seven days uh, in the updates that are coming up for this app. So there's also then an about section where just basically a bit more about my story and that sort of thing. But the main features of this app, like I said, is the reality check reminder and the dream journal. There's gonna be a night mode coming very soon. I'm gonna be updating this massively, putting huge amounts of value here, loads of articles, loads of uh, content for you. And uh, it's all gonna be there for free for you on iPhone. It will be coming to Android soon, but I really, and the reason I made this video, you're probably wondering why am I telling you all this if it's not even ready yet. I would like you right now to comment what you would like to see in this lucid dreaming app and exactly what you think about this now try not to mention things i've already said for example i've already said there's going to be a night mode i've already said all of those things try and comment something new some suggestion something you don't like about it or something that can be improved and i will take all of those things into consideration and i'll update this with your thoughts in mind so as always, if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe because I post weekly lucid dreaming videos and tutorials. And I'd love to hear what you think. Leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.